Everyone is buying silver right now, or at least those that truly understand how prices are determined in the precious mark and the precious metals market is buying silver right now. And here's why. Those that understand silver, when silver retested the $26 price range, it got to down to about I believe $26.15 in June. Stacked uh, a lot more silver back then. Uh, those who had extra cash laying around um, and whatnot. So the problem with people not understanding silver today is that the banking cartel has basically tried to keep the price of silver in a very narrow range and they use a lot of shenanigans like HFT trading algorithms, uh, creating tremendous amounts of uh, excess paper ounces that cannot be matched by physical ounces in the futures market and you know like every other scam they perpetuated in the mortgage-backed securities derivatives market and manipulating LIBOR I mean it's, uh, it's astounding to me that people see uh, all these fraudulent activities being perpetrated by the bankers and the politicians and regulators also that are in cahoots with the bankers like such as LIBOR and so forth and don't believe that gold and silver are being manipulated because if they understood that then they will know that you know these manipulation games is regarding the price of silver cannot last in perpetuity and then eventually the dynamics that exist within supply and demand in the physical the real world of physical gold and physical silver will overtake the fraudulent shenanigans of all the criminal banking uh, cartel right now um, and will eventually drive the price forward in the future. So if one would look, say, just last year, 2007, I mean 2011, excuse me, when silver hit a near peak of 50, if that had happened this year, now it's trading back down to 32, even though obviously the best point was to get in when it was like 26.15 back in June, even at 32 right now, people will be looking at it as a tremendous bargain because you would see uh, a drop from 50 to 32 or basically 18% discount over uh, the price of 50. But since it's been trading in a very narrow range, people do not see 32 as a bargain price that they will soon realize it to be. And just a few quarters or maybe even a couple quarters, they'll look back at this price and see that as a huge price. But because they do not understand what drives the uh, fraudulent price set in the paper futures market and the paper derivatives market, then they do not understand that the physical dynamics will eventually drive the price. Now, the other interesting thing is, I'll put a link in the video description below if you're watching this on YouTube, to uh, a basically an interview I had with Max Kaiser about a year, more than a year ago. I think it was in August of uh, 2011. And which I spoke about the price management scheme uh, that bank, the banking cartel uses in gold and silver. And um, I also talked about the imminent possibility of war with Iran and we discussed the notion of how gold and silver play an important geopolitical role. Now, I believe this, this interview was over a year ago. Actually, it might have just been this past August. I'm not sure. But in any event, I'll find it and I'll put it online. I've actually even spoke of, spoken about uh, imminent war with Iran. It looked like that the political leaders of this world were positioning for, for this several years ago on my blog. I think as early as 2009, although it's not yet come to fruition, it certainly looks to be heading that way. Now we have major, other major economists, financial analysts, or uh, and investors also uh, speaking about World War in an imminent World War III. So you have Jim Rogers, Mark Faber, and uh, Larry Edelston, I believe is his name, and other people on board with, with the concept that um, whenever the banker-driven governments, and it is certainly the banksters that are in control of all the major developed governments of the world, fail and are failing miserably 
uh, regarding their economic and monetary policies in the world. So maybe it's not really failure because you can look at it as successes because really their goal is to bankrupt the middle class, bankrupt people so that people can't rise up and challenge their power and uh, their ill-gotten wealth. So when they're successful in this aspect, and certainly they are being successful if you look all over the world, and you, they know what's coming next is revolution. They see people rising up all over the world, like Port in, in Portugal, and Greece, and Ireland, and Iceland, and, and whatnot. So then the next step is for war, because war is always the great distractor. So it's not hard, too hard to predict these patterns, because you just let, if you understand your history, you know it's coming. So if you see these patterns, then what better money to own if war is imminent, like we think it is, than gold and silver. So that's just another reason. So um, I encourage all of you out there. I, I said everyone uh, is buying silver now. Obviously, it's not true. There's just a small percentage of the population. Those in the know are certainly buying physical silver, not the silver ETFs like the SLV, you know, they're bogus uh, vehicles that the criminal banking cartel has uh, invented to lead you down the wrong path. Make sure you buy physical, meaning silver coins or silver, silver bullion bars and whatnot. Um, so everybody should be buying physical silver at this point. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great day.